Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride share revolutionaries. Welcome back to the ride share bums and welcome back to the insignificant trolls that populate my channel. It's me, Geo, the leader of the ride share revolution, the ride share rock star, the captain of the 2K club, the most hated, the most vilified, and the realest, the funniest, the handsomest, and the beardedest driver on YouTube. And uh, all right, we're gonna keep on trucking along with these apps while I, I'm going to revisit a topic that I have covered multiple times in live chats and I did a couple videos trying to explain this. But now we're gonna use some visual aids because uh, I believe I'm the only YouTuber to go into detail about how to or attempt to go into detail about how to use destination filters to your advantage and how to maxim use them to maximize profits and earnings. So, so let's go into that right now. So, um, sorry, I'm, I'm filming off the tablet and it's really, the camera is right there. So it's really hard for me to focus on that spot. Um, probably the most questions I've had to answer, other than what kind of car I drive, is how do I use the destination filters properly? And here's the thing, I can't, if you're not in Chicago, I can't help you because I don't know your traffic patterns. I don't know what time people are going to the airports, what time, you know, the white collars are going, the, what, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't answer all those questions. But in Chicago, I can, right? So we're going to go into detail about that right now. I wish I could find a way to prop this up better. Um, let's try that. Yeah. Okay. So the way I use my destination filters, I use my destination, destination filters from 530 through 7 a.m. Right? Ah, fuck. That's a disaster. <laughs> 7 a.m. The reason being is because if you get an airport ride between 5.30, from 5.30 and before 7 a.m., um, your mornings might be, you, you, you tend to mess up your mornings, all right? And the reason that's the case is because, if let's say it's 5.30 a.m. and someone is going to O'Hare, right? You're going to take 90, 90 west up to O'Hare. You're going to drop that person off at about 5.55, 6 a.m., okay? And the traffic coming back from O'Hare, that's going to, if you're going back to the city, if you get a rematch, which it's not always guaranteed, let's say, okay, let's, let's say you, got, you, you want to go back to where demand is going to be high. So you're going to take, you're going to drop off at the airport and you're going to come up around here, right? That's going to take you, after 6 a.m., at least 30 minutes on a regular week that's on a holiday. And that's 30 minutes if you're not, if you don't have a passenger, 30 minutes you're not getting paid for. So that's two O'Hare at 5.30, okay? Let's say you get a midway trip at 5.30, right? So you can take this down there and bam. Same thing, if you drop off someone around 5.55 or six o'clock, you are going to be stuck in traffic, sorry, 5.30, you are going to be stuck in traffic if you're trying to get back to busy areas. That's going to take about, same thing, 30 to 40 minutes to get back there. That's even if you, that's even if you decide to take the shortcut to Pulaski, which is faster than Cicero, because Cicero's jacked up. This is the way to go, <laughs> Pulaski. So, if you, if you want to get back to the popular surging areas of the city on a normal week, which is not, and also not in July and August, because... We're not going to see as much surge these days. Um, then, yeah, expect a 30 or 40 minute ride back into the city. That's just the reality, okay? So, so that's, and that's going to be the case from 5.30 to 7 a.m., right? If you do not, if you get stuck with an airport ride at that time, you will be stuck in traffic coming back in the city if you choose to come back that way. 
and even worse, let's say you drop off, let's say you get an airport ride at 6.30 a.m. It's going to take you 45, uh, 40 minutes to get to the either airport, and the traffic coming back to the profitable areas could be closer to an hour, right? So, pause that off. So I use my filters from 5.30 to 7 a.m., all right? So here's how it works. At that time, I'm usually... Um, let's just say five, let's, let's say and hypothetically, this is usually the case. I'm at, I'm on the North side of Chicago at five 30. So five 30, right? Tired. Um, all right. At this time I will set my destination filter for McCormick place right there. Right. So I'm going to be usually at this time, I'm somewhere around here. So, at 5.30, I will set my destination filter on Uber or Lyft, whichever one, uh, or some, the last week and a half, I've used them both, and whichever one gets a ping, that's the one I, I use. So, I will use the destination filter to, to McCormick Place. Now, here's what usually happens. All right. If I am here, if I'm around here using my destination filter, and I set the filter for there... I'll get a I'll get a ride request from somewhere around here and I'll either take 90 to go to you know or sorry let me back up most of the time when you set the filter from a corn place your ride will actually up oh, sorry your ride will actually take you into the loop which is around here now at 5:30 in the morning that ride's going to take 10 to 15 minutes max so you're either going to take 90 in or you're going to take Lake Shore in, okay? And usually they end up they end up in the loop either you know, either north of the river or south of the river. But typically you you all the people going to work are going here. Sometimes you might end up over here, but typically you're ending up right in here, right? So here's what I do. Let me back this, some of this up, some of this clutter. I don't think I can do. Oh. Damn it. Damn you, app. Oh. <laughs> okay. So retrace the steps. So if I set the filter if I if I set the filter there from corn place and I drop off here, right? Here's what they don't tell you. You have between 35 and 45 minutes to, or that filter is active for about 35 to 45 minutes. Or you could do five pickups towards that location. Whichever one comes first, um, or if you actually end up going to McCorn Place, but that's not always a guarantee. Now, if you, um, usually if you drop off in, somewhere in here, what I do is I simply leave the app on, I leave the filter on, and I, God, this is so awkward. I leave the filter on, and I just, uh, and I literally, and every person, every request I get will just take me right back to the loop. So, what I do from 5.30 to 7 o'clock, and I end up using both filters sometimes, unless, um, sometimes I get lucky, and I'll get like a surge pool, right, a surge pool request which will take like 45 minutes, <laughs> which is fine. Cause if, if it's at a two X surge, then I'll take it. Right. So what I do in the mornings is Lyft or Uber. I'll set the destination filter for McCorn place and I'll just ride out the clock. And after 7 AM, after 7 AM, any, most of the times, if you're in this area here or here, any airport ride, Will, will be a 45 minute plus request. So that tells you, it not, it, keep in mind, we don't know exactly where a pasture is going, but if you're in either of those areas highlighted, more than likely you're, going, you're getting a ride to an airport if it says 45 minutes plus after 7 a.m. Before 7 a.m., uh, the app will let you, um, the app will not say it's 45 minutes plus because when you pick up the passenger, 
it's not going to be a 45 minute ride until after you pick them up. Then the 40 minute ride that was, um, you know, the ride, the, the GPS might say it's going to be 43 minutes, but then after you pick them up, it might turn into 48, 49, 50 minutes. So that's why I wait until 7 a.m. to just uh, let the app lead the way, at which point, if I do get an airport ride, it will say, it will say um, 45 minutes plus. So I, I can decide at that point, do I want to take that ride or do I want to skip that ride? And if it's surging, if it's like a 1.9 surge, then I'm definitely going to take it because that ride will be worth anywhere from 55 to 65 bucks on a 1.9 or 2x surge. If it's not surging, then I'm probably not going to take it because then um, I stand less of a chance of I stand less of a chance of uh, completing trips and getting that oh, ugh, that was ugly getting and getting that uh, that quest. So what is up with that? That's too big. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to this size. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> um, is there anything else I want to mention here? Uh, no, I think that's it, guys. So that's that's a breakdown of how how to properly use destination filters in Chicago. Feel free to apply this to your market, but like I said, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about any other market. I don't know your traffic patterns because and I don't know your traffic patterns, and I I just don't know your city. I don't know when the traffic is bad like so all i know is in chicago uh the traffic gets bad coming back from the airports between like or right after 5 45 so that's why um i just i try to avoid getting stuck in traffic as much as i can that's why i use my destination filters to my advantage to make sure i definitely do not get stuck with an airport ride between 5 30 and 7 a.m after that if I get a 45 minute plus in the surging, then absolutely I'll take it. Or lately, if it's been this slow, then I'll probably take it too. But um, yeah, guys, just don't forget to, to make sure you use your destination filters best to your advantage. Uh, so you get that, get out there and really make that money, guys. That's how that's what it's all about, right? That's, that's what the rideshare game is all about, making that money. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I really wanted to revisit this issue because this is probably my most frequently asked about topic. And like I said, I don't, I don't think any other YouTuber has gone into detail about how they, they use the destination filters to their advantage. So I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe during the Rideshare Revolution. And uh, please share this one, guys. Uh, this, one's, this, this one's important, and I'm kind of sick and tired of repeating myself talking about it. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm going to go buy some groceries and fall asleep. So until next time, guys, adios. Bye-bye.